Loch Lomond and the Trossachs National Park Authority, a peatland action partner, is helping to restore Scotland's peatlands. So why are we restoring peatlands here in the Loch Lomond and Trossachs National Park? Well, not only are they important for climate change and for water storage, but they're incredibly rich landscapes in their own right, and they hold a great deal of specialist wildlife. And that's very much of the nature of what we do here at the, the National Park Authority. Uh, peatlands are important in our cultural heritage, uh, but also they're incredibly kind of hostile uh, environments. They're waterlogged, they're low in nutrients, they're low in oxygen. And this produces special environments, which is home to specialist species found nowhere else. Everything from sphagnum bog mosses through to cranberry and glistening sundews, through to the butterflies and moths and reptiles and snakes and, and wading birds, right way up to predators like the hen harrier that are found on, on peatlands. In relation to the peatlands that we hold in this national park, we think about 60% of all of our soils in the park, and the park is 720 square miles. So about 20 million tonnes of carbon, we think, are held up in the, the peatland soils of the park, which is an incredibly important resource for, in Scottish terms. But a lot of that is damaged and it's been degraded over time. So by restoring those peatlands, by blocking up those drains and re-wetting it and allowing the conditions for bog mosses to form and create peat again that we're doing that to capture that carbon but also create that important habitat for wildlife our message from Loch Lomond and the Trossex National Park to future generations is that we hope you have inherited healthy peatlands or they're rich and full of wildlife jam-packed full of carbon and doing a great job in protecting the planet and providing amazing places for wildlife to live